Number 34. Is one liter about an ounce, a pint, a quart, or a gallon? And then I gave you this conversion uh, chart that is in your textbook. But the first thing I want to say is that these ounce to pint to quart to gallon are going in increasing size. So that's something that you should memorize. You should know some of them by everyday cooking and just everyday, you know, life. <laughs> um, so increasing in size. So for example, the ounce is the smallest here. All the way up to the gallon. You see those people walking around with gallon water jugs. Want some water? <laughs> um, so the gallon is the largest. Now a liter should be somewhere around this, you know, scale here. Now we kind of see liters, especially if you're in a chemistry class, you probably have seen graduated cylinders. Now graduated cylinders are these long things like this that fill up your liquids. Now they come in a lot of different sizes. Now the ones that you probably see in your chemistry class are the 10 mil, uh, I think the 50 mil, and I think the 25 or 100, I believe. But it doesn't matter. But now just remember that mils are smaller than an actual liter. So just know that liters are pretty big. So right off the bat, I don't think that a liter would be about the same as an ounce, right? It's too small. The ounce is way too small. On the other scale, I don't think a liter is the largest because gallons are huge. A liter would somewhere be in the ballpark between a pint and a quart. But now we just have to figure out, does one liter equal about a pint or does one liter equal about a quart? So I'm going to put that over here. Does a liter equal a pint? Question mark. Or does a liter equal a quart? Question mark. Now let's go to this lovely chart, conversion chart, which you guys should be very familiar with as these questions are progressing. So I'm looking at the volume part because liter is a volume. It is not a length and it is not a mass. So you could automatically get rid of the column on the left and the column on the right. So we're only looking at this middle one here. So now let's see. I'm looking, I'm scanning, I see that one liter equals 1.0567 quarts. Oh, that's really, really, really close. One liter, and these are exact conversions, so this is the real deal. One liter is exactly 1.0567 QT, which is quarts. So always know that QT is the same thing as a quart. But, I mean, it's very, very close. 1L, which stands for liter, is 1.0, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, quart. So roughly, one liter roughly equals 1.0567 quarts. And that's what one liter is about. Since the conversion is 1 liter equals 1.0567 quarts, QT, 1 liter is roughly, squiggly lines, 1 QT. So the liter would be very similar to a quart. I'm going to put it over here. And there is your final answer. Just know that pints are too small for a liter. You would need, a, you know more pints to fit that one liter. So there you go. I hope this helped out a lot. I'll see you guys all in the next lesson. If this helped, please click that subscribe button. It lets us know that you're enjoying these answers. I will see you all next time. Have a great day, guys. Bye-bye.